Hi friends! In this video, I am going to take you through my step-by-step -step system for washing delicates. Now, when I say delicate, I mean delicate in the way of a hundred-year-old gorgeous lace creation. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you, and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and tap the bell for notifications. I hope that you are all staying safe and well. During the COVID stay-at-home orders shut down, I had a little bit of extra time, so I decided to hand wash a couple of my delicate pieces. Frankly, the dress that I'm gonna show you, I probably would have taken to the dry cleaners had they not been closed for so long, but I'm glad I did it, and I'll show you why during this video. So let me just walk you through what I did and how things turned out. I had washed this vintage white blouse that I got via resale before and it turned out really well even though it didn't have a tag I could tell by the fabric that it was going to be fine so it's time for me to give this one another wash and I wasn't nervous about it several months ago I got to make a trip to the way we wore up in West Hollywood a really great vintage shop and I picked up this gorgeous dress it is a hundred years old made out of this beautiful lace. It had that lining up, as you can see. The lace is really gorgeous. It has a little slip under it, and I just love this dress. When I got it home, I noticed, though, that it had some body odor, a pit smell to it, and I knew I needed to get that out. Now, I haven't had the best luck getting pit smell out of old clothes, taking it to the dry cleaners, so that's why I decided to try it myself. I was very nervous but I had read on the laundress website that lace is something you can hand wash. So I'm using all of their products. I'll show you how I use them. I swear by this company and have been using them for years. Notice the white towels. I, I really keep those just for washing and I'll show you why. So here I was ready to start. I have to admit I was super nervous to do this dress, but I decided to give it a go because I knew I couldn't wear it with that smell that it had in it. I always start by turning the garment inside out and taking a good look at everything. Here I am smelling the pits again and ugh, it's yucky. So I decided to start and put some of the stain solution on there. This is a great product that I use all sorts of ways. I have their little brush, laundry brush that I use, I swear by that, and I like to put the stain solution right on it and then I just take a glass of water nice cold water and I start to rub it around as I did that I noticed uh oh there's a hole in the lining I had never noticed that before at this point I decided you know what I'm just gonna do it and then have that fixed afterward I was already in for too much here so I thought Ugh, let's just do it so I'm taking that stain solution and I'm rubbing it in nice and gently, but pretty well all around the underarm area to try to get that smell out. Next, I'm going to take my nice clean washing basin and put in the delicate wash. This stuff is just amazing, amazing. I use it on my bras, everything delicate. And I'm just gonna squirt a good squirt of that in there. And then I'm just gonna fill this whole bucket up with cold water. When I first invested in all of these laundress products, it seemed like a lot of money, but I have saved so much money in dry cleaning and keeping my clothes nice that it's been really worth it to me. So you can see it's pretty sudsy. And now I'm just gonna put this dress in. I was super delicate with it. Again, I was so, so nervous. I'm agitating it very, very lightly just so that this detergent gets all over it. And as soon as I started doing this, the smells that came out of this dress, like a hundred years of chemicals and mothballs, it really kind of stunk. So it made me even more glad that I was doing this. Next, I move on to this white blouse. I inspect it really well, both inside and out to make sure there aren't any stains. I decided to treat the underarms and get them nice and white by using that stain solution again. So I just repeated the entire process again, just like I did with the dress, 
using that stain solution under the underarms. Time to fill up my bucket again, but this time I decided to use the Laundress white detergent and I use this for my sheets and towels and anything that's white because it really gets them so sparkly clean. So again, cold water. I always put all of this in cold water and I'm just going to agitate again softly and get this shirt nice and soaked up with this wonderful detergent and the water. Here are my two containers with my lovely pieces and I went and I'm going to let them sit for 30 minutes. I turned the timer on for that amount of time. Got to go do some cleanup and then came back to see what they looked like. And here they are. You can't really tell, but the black dress, the water had gotten very, very dark. So you can even see as I'm wringing it out here, all sorts of dye and chemicals and color was coming out of that. And it really did kind of stink, I gotta tell you. At this point, I'm really getting nervous. I couldn't really tell whether or not the dress had shrunk and the smell that was coming out of it and everything else. But by this point, I thought, you know what? I've gone this far. I'm just going to keep going. So I rinsed it out super, super well. It still had a lot of the detergent in it, and I just wanted to get all of that out. It was starting to feel good. The lace felt nice and soft. But again, I just could not tell what was going on here. Now here's what I do with these white towels. I lay them down and I only use them for this purpose and I wash them afterward. I lay them out flat and then I take the garment, still while it's inside out, and I lay it out nice and flat. In this case, I wanted to get all the lace on there and laid out nice and flat down the length of this towel. And then what I'm going to do is just roll it up very carefully in this towel so that the water gets soaked up before I take it and hang it up. I do this with all of my delicates and it works so, so well. It's perfect for any kind of bulky sweaters or wool and just anything that you're doing so that it's not dripping wet and it protects it as well. Now I just repeat the entire process with this white blouse, which was looking really great and sparkly clean. I always like to hang the pieces up in my bathroom and my shower area, just in case they are dripping a little bit. And you can see here the white blouse is looking really great. Super happy with that. And here's the black dress. I could kind of tell that it looked like it hadn't shrunk very much, or if it did, it shrunk a tiny bit. The lace turned out beautiful. The slip inside was also good. I knew I would need to steam that a little bit. But this lining here on the top did get pretty messed up. I tried to mend it myself, but I realized, no, I need to take this to Donna at my alterations place. And she completely redid the lining. She makes wedding gowns and she had some extra lining from a wedding gown in here. And it just turned out beautiful. It kind of freshened the whole thing up. So in a way, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really disappointed with how that turned out since it was already torn. The dress smelled a lot better. It still had a tiny bit of a chemical smell but it smelled a lot better. I tried it on. It shrunk a tiny bit, but still was just beautiful. So now I'm storing it in a bag the way they told me to at The Way We Wore with a little bit of scented vinegar and these cotton balls just to take away that smell a little bit more. Well, there you have it. Even with the sort of mishap on the dress, I'm very glad I did this, especially when I could see and smell all the chemicals that were in this dress for so many years. The mothballs, the dry cleaning, everything else, it smells so much better now. And it actually looks a little bit refreshed with that new lining up here. I'm very pleased with it. Looking for a place to wear this one day very soon. Of course, I knew the white blouse would turn out great and I hope this inspires you to try it with some of your pieces that may not be as delicate as my 100 year old dress. That was a bit of a risk. Anyway, would love to know your comments and your feedback below. Please put them, I read everyone. 
Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.